So today, Vlad and I went out for a ride. He took his brand new, no, it's new for him, it's got 7,000, I think, miles on it. New, he's just added it to his collection, a Troy Bayless Ducati. It's got some unique graphics on it, and we're going to add some graphics to it. Do some work to the front fender, a couple other little items. And if you want to watch this video in 4K, you have to set your YouTube device accordingly. So this is Vlad's latest new bike, Troy Bayless Panigale V2. We're out on a ride and we stopped to take a couple pictures. Now, I, this is absolutely beautiful. I love that green on there. That green is the final little touch. Right, a seat too. Now tell me the story about the bike. What year is it? It's 2022. It's a 22. This is stock exhaust? Yes. It comes that way? Okay. No chip? No, uh... No, not yet. Uh, <laughs> not yet. No, no easy pass. <laughs> yeah, there well, is easy pass. Okay, he's got the forks lowered. I see he's a really very competitive guy. Troy Bayless says, you owe me $50. Uh, that must be his signature. I just changed the tail, TD. And I got a... What the oh, hell? Oh, something's falling fallen. off. Yeah, I got to screw it back uh Oh, Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah, we need... I we'll guess. cut that out of the video. Yeah, cut that out of the video. Never! I we just, don't cut anything out. I just lost the piece. <laughs> Shit, Did you lose a blinker? No, but I, I lost the, uh, the the piece from here. Oh, well, I don't see. know why. I mean, it, I it was screwed. It. Yeah, you can. It just needs a plastic piece here. I'll How about, is it going to fly off though? No, it's not. But uh, I got to fix this shit. Oh, man. I don't know. I put the. It was. It was tight. I thought you maintain your bikes like I do. <laughs> Not really. I even put a blue blue Loctite on it. I don't know what. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, here you go. Okay. Lost the piece, piece is missing. No, I, I lost another piece. Oh, oh, oh. But it's all right. We'll oh, but this one has Olin shocks. Yeah. Full Olins so. front and back. I can't believe it. Oh. How the hell does it get unscrewed? I don't remember your BMW. You had the the blinkers were breaking, coming yeah. off it or something. But luckily, Windy made a carbon fiber part, and it's bright brand new. Ah, uh, he's got the forks lowered. He's a competitive guy. Got the easy pass cooking, so we could all ride around here. Really Go up and see Michelle. Michelle, we miss you, kid. Oh, well, I'll have to fix it up. Ah, that's, come on, I could do that in my, you want to come over to my house? I'll do it right no, now no, for no. you. It needs, uh, it needs the space that I lost, so. Oh, oh. I'll order it, I'll have it. No big deal. So you're enjoying the bike. That's yes. the bottom line. This is the first ride we went on with yep. this bike. Yeah, it looks pretty. I'll tell you. I like the idea that you had a paint in the front fender and a hugger. Make it unique. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm not crazy about, you know, flat black. Yeah, not me neither. That's not for me. Luciano likes flat black. Uh, the we, what thing we had is over the winter, we paint the fender with a red, white, and green stripe. Something, something unique. We'll get a staple gun and put the stuff, blinkers back on. <laughs> it's amazing how this stuff breaks. <laughs> I, I used the blue Loctite. Uh, this could not get on screw. Oh, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, what a beautiful day this turned out to be for the... How many rides you got on us now? Is this the first? This the, is the first, first one. The first real ride. Yeah, first real ride, and the first one was when I picked it up. You know, a tank of gas ride, not a just go around a block ride. Yeah. yeah this, now, and how many miles the bike got on it all together? It's probably seventy-nine. Oh, so it's, it's not even it's broken like in yet. It's change. I don't. Yeah, not even broken in yet. No, not yet. I need the first service already. Uh, Eight hundred twenty-eight miles. Now give me your wallet. I'll do the service right here in the parking lot. <laughs> give me a two by four. I'll tune it up for you. I can't. Oh, nice wheels. Wow. Nice. Everything on this bike is nice. I'm just so pissed this thing fell out. No, nah, you didn't. Nothing bad happened no, there. No, no. I'm <laughs> just going to request the spacers and that's it. So, one of the things I wanted to do today is get several pictures from several different angles of the bike. Vlad wanted to add some. Uh, paint to the front fender and or the hugger and make some of these other parts and I don't know which ones of course he uh, he has been prone to change his mind from time to time but anyway just to make the bike a little unique now I like bikes that are just a little bit unique just they're just a little bit different and you got to look twice and uh, 
I think we're going to be able to do that to this one over the winter without a lot of problems and get rid of, get rid of that flat black. Oh. And one of the good things, if Vlad wants to do any paintwork to this bike, we already have from previous bikes, we have the matching paint already. Now, a really interesting part of this bike, I guess a lot of the Ducatis, this, this model, that are pretty similar, is the way the exhaust pipe curls around underneath that cover. Pretty, pretty cool. Very cool. One thing good about the bike, you ride, I could see you in the mirror a mile away. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'll, I'll call up Enzo Ducati and get no, out and, and and request I use, some work. I use the blue Loctite to put this on. It's just like ridiculous. Uh, I'll ha I guess I have to use the red Loctite. Yeah, then you'll never get it off. Yeah. Then you, if it's aluminum, you'll strip it. Hey, it's a beautiful bike. It's a beautiful day. And we're right on budget and right on time. Time for you to buy me lunch. Or buy Jose lunch. <laughs> That's a lot more money. Yeah, Jose <laughs> eats too much. <laughs> I'm cheap. I'm cheap to feed like a bird. Yeah, it's a beautiful bike. Think about that front fender, though. I, yeah, I definitely will do that. that. Take some pictures. I'll have pictures after today. Troy Bayless, it could be Vlad Bayless next week. They have that, se I have the computer sewing machine if you want to put your name, what, Vlad Bayless, right on the seat here. <laughs> and, oh, that's beautiful, boy, they didn't, that's a beautiful bike. They do nice work. What'd you say, the decal's on, oh, it is on crooked. Yeah. Luciano bought a thing and the Ducati logo on a gas cap was backwards. What? It was backwards. What do you mean backwards? This is like a coin with the, with the president upside down. It might really? be worth money. He's got a Ducati gas cap with the thing Ducati is backwards instead of frontwards. What do you mean, upside down? Yeah, upside down. <laughs> this is Ikuakaka. I know. Now what happens? The regular Ducati comes with no Olins. You no, got to pay you, extra. Or, you yeah, know, the high-end model. You got to buy the high-end model. You, you can't get Olins uh, from the Panigale V2 unless you go with the Bayless. Oh, okay. Yeah, the beautiful. The logos, everything smooth on this. Beautiful lettering, all the stickers. Original. The prime is only like a thousand pieces, but they they're pumping them out like crazy. All they do is just put the number, the number at... Uh, yeah, and they try... Oh, they, they want to make the money, of yeah. course. Hey, they're in business to make money. Guess, and guess it's what? Whose money they want? Yours. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful bike. I like it. Yeah, it is. It's nice. So next time we ride with Vlad, we'll get some ride footage. I wanted to spring this on my friends here. This is a great, great bike. And thanks, guys, so much for watching.